Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Kids Church. As I'm sure that you now know, we have, in Kids Church, been thinking about the armour of God. Paul wrote a letter to the Ephesians and told them that we are all in a battle. This war is good versus evil, God against the devil. Now, we know that God wins in the end, but Satan, the devil, will do all that he can to hurt us along the way. So, God gives us armour to help to protect us from everything that the devil can throw at us. We get this armour as we decide to be on God's side in the battle and we should always be wearing it to be prepared. The devil could attack us at any time. So far, the armour we have learned about was firstly the belt of truth, reminding us that God always tells the truth and that the devil always lies and that we should also all tell the truth ourselves. Secondly, we thought about the breastplate of righteousness to remind us to do the right thing as the devil wants us to suffer the bad consequences of making bad choices. We should always do what Jesus would do. The third piece of armour are the shoes of the gospel of peace. These remind us that we need to go and tell people about Jesus and what he's done for us. Then, last week, we thought about the shield of faith, which was about knowing what we believe and why we believe it, and believing without having to see something to know that it's true. We can use the shield when Satan lies to us. The Bible says that the, sh the shield will guard us against the flaming arrows of the devil. So, now we're all caught up, let's watch together what this week's piece of armour is. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. God knew that sometimes we would doubt his love, and he also knew that the devil would try to make us think God doesn't love us. So God gave us a piece of armour to protect our minds and help us remember the truth about his love. God wants us to live every day knowing that He loves us. He sent Jesus to earth to show us that love. One day, Jesus was visiting a town in Israel called Cana. There was a royal official whose son was sick in the nearby town. The official heard that Jesus was in Cana, so he went to Jesus and begged him to heal his son because he was about to die. Jesus told the official he could go back home because the boy was going to live. As the official left Jesus, he could have doubted if Jesus had really saved his son from dying. But instead, he believed what Jesus said and that Jesus loved him and his boy. As the official was on his way home, some of his servants ran to meet him on the road with some very good news. His son was alive and doing well. The official found out that it all happened at the exact minute Jesus said his son would live. Just like the official believed that Jesus could save his son from death, we can believe that Jesus can save us too. We are saved when we believe that Jesus died on the cross, took the punishment for our sins, and came back to life. Jesus' love saves us from receiving the punishment we deserve for the wrong things we do, and it gives us the promise of heaven with him one day. This promise of salvation is forever and can never be taken away. There's nothing in all of creation nothing too great and nothing too evil that can change how much God loves us. The helmet of salvation will help us remember this every day. We can put on the helmet of salvation. Helmets are really important. If you ride a motorbike or a racing car, you have to wear one. If you work on a building site, you have to wear one. When you ride your bikes or your scooters, you should really wear one. It protects your head and your brain. Your brain is really important as it controls the rest of your body. Helmets are the most essential piece of armour. And this is the same with the armour of God. The helmet is all about our salvation. 
That's just a big word to say that Jesus saved us. So what did he save us from? Well, he saved us from all the things which we've done wrong, which separate us from God. Jesus died on our behalf and took the punishment for all of the things that we deserved. And he saved us from that. Because of what Jesus did, we are saved. And there is nothing that Satan can do about this. Let's worship now, remembering that we are saved. I love to tell the story. It will be my theme in glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. something to help it work. Trusting in God helps the belt of truth. Doing the right thing helps with the breastplate. The shoes are for us to go and need us to do something. The shield gets stronger with our faith. But there is nothing we can do to strengthen our salvation. 
We don't earn our salvation. It's nothing to do with what we do. Not one of us deserves to be saved, however good we might be. We've still done some things wrong. Being good will not earn us being saved. Now, it's great to do things to help people or to live a good life, don't get me wrong. But to be saved, we can never be good enough. Which is why Jesus came to earth and died to buy our salvation. All we have to do is believe in him. Let's worship again Jesus who saved us. From his throne on high He humbled himself He came to live so he could die He was killed on the cross But he rose up from the grave Death was defeated So wipe your tears away I'm gonna clap my hands And shout Hosanna Jesus is risen on our own we needed him to come for our rescue our sin has a price that we could never pay jesus paid it all so we could be saved i'm gonna clap my hands and shout hosanna jesus is risen is the son of God the sacrifice for sin he is the risen king and he's coming back again Jesus is the son of God I believe the sacrifice for sin So, Satan wants us to think that if we try really hard, we can have a relationship with God. He wants us, maybe, to believe that we aren't good enough to be saved. He wants us to think that we don't need to be saved, that we are fine in our lives without being saved. But what we need to do is to remember that Satan is a liar. Every good thing comes from God, who loves us so much. God can't stand sin, which is the wrong things that we do. So if we sin at all, the punishment for that is death. Even if we don't think that what we've done is really all that bad. Jesus said that he would die to take that punishment as he's the only one ever to have done nothing wrong at all. God's own son 
took the blame for us. And all that we have to do to get this salvation that is given is to believe. So when you put on your helmet of salvation, remember, Jesus has saved us and he protects the most important part of our body, our head, our brain and our minds. And all we have to do is believe. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you that the helmet of salvation reminds us that we have been saved if we just believe in you. We are sorry for all the times that we've done wrong things. Thank you that Jesus has taken my punishment for all those things. Help us all to remember that there is nothing that we can do to earn our salvation, but that you did it because of how much you love us. Thank you that the devil cannot do anything about our salvation because it is a gift from you. Thank you, God. Amen. Well, that's all for this week's Kids Church. Next week, we'll be looking at the sword of the spirit. But this week, remember, God loves you so much, not because of what you've done, but because of who you are. And so he sent Jesus to take the punishment for everything that you've ever done wrong. You didn't deserve it. You can't earn it. But God has given you it if you just believe in Jesus. And there is nothing that Satan can do about it. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
plate on I got my helmet on I got my sword and shield His truth is marching on Bring it on Until I die In the army 